Okay, hey, let me see how things are looking here. Let me get this posted that I'm going live real quick. Let's go here. Live now. Look. I don't know how I feel about this, the name on this new Praetor. It just feels so long. Like, Praetor Command Warbird would have been enough, but then they they went and did Praetor Command Warbird Battlecruiser. It's just like, what's going on with the length of that name there? Okay, let me swap back over the right thing. How's everyone doing so far today? So before, yeah, they, they put the ship in. And there's still no blog for it. In fact, let's go and double check on the, the website here. So news. Nothing. If we look at the the console side of things. Is it there? Nope. Yes, four. Nope. And if I swap over to the German website, there's at least one blog there that we didn't get on uh on the piece or on the English side, and it's for a key and lobby sale. So from today through November 22nd, there is a 25% key sale and a 20% lobby sale. The refit cross field, I did not see it in the box when I opened mine to grab a Praetor. I did not see it in there yet. Um, so yeah, there's a key and lobby sale going on that was announced on the German. Uh, arc page but it's still not up on the the english one you know i should check twitter make sure i didn't miss something there and let's also check that play star trek online website yeah i was hoping for a special lobby ship also so news wise nothing on the english side here and if i look at the german side yeah, the German community manager posted the lobby stuff, but not that the new ship was in the game. And nothing over on Twitter. Mystic has gone. Yeah, so it's 20% off all lobby things and 25% off um, keys in the store. So that, that sale will probably just carry on right through the uh, the Black Friday sales. Uh, warp core. I was I was legitimately hoping that we would see one, but I have seen no indication. Yeah, um, spider. I I literally like I spent a fair bit of time yesterday, like getting a video together, anticipating that you know there'd be uh, an announcement so I could release a video on the uh, on a hypothetical muds bundle. Um, but that video is just going to keep sitting there until Cryptic, you know, actually puts the uh, the blog out. So, um, yeah, Chell, that's not surprising at all. Um, regarding the crossfield refit, let me um double check here because I may have missed it. I immediately popped open my T6 box to grab the the Praetor, which I of course have given an appropriate name of Xerox. Um, let me see if any of the secondary boxes have any of the, no, there, there's none of the, the traits in here from the, uh, the refit lock box. So that is still not here because that also be consoles not here either. Cthulhu, I like that uh, DM there. I approve. Thank you. Thank you for that. Let me catch up on chat here. The German team only po posts blogs according to when they are allowed to as per their schedule. And yeah, Kale didn't stick to it. Yeah, it's the, the Vorchok clone ship. Yes. So I named it Xerox because Xerox was a brand of copy machines back in the day. Um, Kigo, I would recommend you check out the... 
news video that I did last week, I, I dropped a few subtle hints about what I would like to see in a hypothetical bundle. So Stargate was messaging me that it looked like from the stream that they did to, to now they may have like updated the model a little bit. Um, let me let me go up to space and let's take a look at the model. This is, yeah, this ship is a Vorcha copy. And also what's important to note, and I think I... I took a picture of it and put it on the Discord. Let me pull it up here. Um, Martin, if you're here, there will probably be a comparable key sale like uh, in a week from now um, with the Black Friday sales they run, and there will also be a Zen Charge bonus if you're wanting to get more for your money. Just looking at Discord. Where did I post this? So here's the the stats on the the new Praetor, like when it comes to like the impulse, um, like the, the the movement and defense stats, because that's all we were missing from what they showed on the stream. Now, if you compare that to the Vorcha, the the legendary Vorcha has this exact or it has a slightly higher hull modifier. The Praetor does have higher shield mods. But the turn rate of the Vorcha is significantly better. It's 10 turn rate on the legendary Vorcha versus 7 on the Praetor. Um, the inertia rating is higher on the Praetor, though, so it shouldn't slide as much. But the Vorcha, I always thought was a fairly maneuverable ship, so. Um, I mean, the, the stats are still like the, the bridge officer seating, the weapon setup console is exactly the same. Yet another stream, yes, and hopefully one where I don't delete the VOD afterwards. Um, yeah, I, I don't get why there hasn't been, like, an announcement on the new Muds bundle. Like, it's crazy to me. We, we I don't think we've went through, like, a week where we didn't have a Muds bundle, have we? Uh, Thomas isn't in charge. Well, he's, you know, he's the, the art lead now, right? But, um, you know, they, they still have a few different people designing these ships. Bridger, how's it going? Uh, Warp Core, that VOD was because there was probably a few conversations that, uh, could have sparked up some drama, and I don't really want to deal with that right now. I was saying things about money, uh, related topics. Um, I don't know, Paul. It's possible. Um, it's possible the person who was in charge before, you know, like, moved over to that new project that Cryptic is working on, but you really don't know. Uh, Martin, um, I would say wait. Wait for Black Friday, because, you know, even if they match what they did last year, that's a 20% Zen charge bonus, or discount in your case. And then, you know, uh, probably a comparable sale. Yeah, I'm doing good, Bridger. I enjoyed reading through that Reddit thread you sent me about the uh, STO versus DPS online. That was, <laughs> that was quite a thread. Um, So the trade on this thing is test them. I talked about this when I did the initial breakdown for this ship, and I, I still stand with my uh, statement there, that this is a trait that's not really going to be of much interest to most people. Um, it's basically a trait that's going to see use in a lot of very high-end coordinated and coordinated runs because you're going to have a support running a ship that has a cloak, so probably a Silic, um, because most runs already have a Silic in them nowadays, and when they decloak, it marks a target. If the team kills that target in 40 seconds... Uh, or within the 40 seconds allotted, then you get a damage boost and hull capacity boost for the entire team for the entire time you're on the map. So basically going to be a must-have for like all of the really high-end runs, I'd, I'd say. 
the console on this thing is what I'm interested to see here. And I'm going to um, put it on a proper torp build here after I level the ship up. Um, but this has, you know, some decent passives on it. And it fires off a plasma torpedo that looks interesting. It looks like it should do a fair bit of damage. I'm expecting the normal 25% off the Zen store. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting for Black Friday again. Um, but the, the only difference between now and then when it comes to keys is that they may not have the, the 20 pack of keys in the store. Yeah, I, I haven't paid attention to the uh, end forwards enough to know for sure like what the, the change for Thomas is going to mean exactly. So I'm going to level this ship up. I'm going to just run it through Argala with a really basic CSV build. Um, just because CSV is my preferred firing mode for pretty much most ships. So I am just going to go through and set this up quick. Just grab a bunch of random consoles. Flying Moth, yeah. Lobby for last side traits or D7 Merc Worker. Yeah, I you know, the D7 Merc Worker really is a very good ship. Um, it's definitely one of the better promo ships right now. Uh, this is just a normal Romulan Battle Cloak. It's not a, it's not an enhanced one, okay. Just a normal Romulan battle cloak. I know. Nick. Nick really wants another enhanced battle cloak ship also. He's been taking the Tamur into a lot of channel runs recently, and uh, he really, really wishes that there was like a full command EBC that he could mess around with. Put a Zat Vash Fandy on it. I don't know if I have one. Yeah, I don't have one on this character. Brian, how's it going? Yeah, I should run the Valdor console too, because this is a Rami ship, so it can do that. Let's do Domino. Simulating Phaser Lance, of course. And. Oh no. I'm not doing deep runs with this ship, so I'll just slap DPRM on. I'll look here for my disruptor consoles. Here we go. I don't know what this ship is currently selling for on the exchange, but I imagine it's fairly expensive. So this one may as well just go engine there. Oh boy, the bridge house is seating. Martin, the gamble. Martin, uh, you're going to take advantage of the, the key sale here. I understand the uh, the urge to gamble. Believe me. Okay. What bridge officer is this here? It's not the best looking ship, no. In fact, most of the people that were commenting on the video were really not happy with it. Um, I don't have torps on this, so I do not, see a, do not need CF3 right now. Just do ox to damp. You know me, Martin. I like the gamble. Gamble's always fun. I appreciate it, Martin. And this is literally like it's a direct uh direct copy of the Vorcha, so you can set this up as a really good torp build. Honestly, this ship would probably work well as a a tank also, if you wanted a, to tank on a Rami ship. Do I not have anything drained here? Okay, my bridge officer setup is not going to be the most optimal. I know someone's going to say something about that, but uh, 
I really don't want to fuss around with it too much right now. I'm just leveling the ship up. So we're just going to call the day and slap the stuff on my spam bar and have cycles that absolutely hurt Chell's immersion. Chell, are you ready to see me spam the space bar? You want me to... Martin, that's, that's awesome, man. That's appreciated. Um, let's see here. Just get this set up quick. Just drag a bunch of random things onto strays. Yeah, I got a I got a haircut last week and I'm not too happy about it. Is what it is. Yes. Martin, make sure you you record your opening there. Raytor is 1.2 billion on the exchange. It's tanking fast. I didn't expect it to tank that fast. To be honest with you. I don't have mixed armament synergy on right now. We'll live without it. Uh, everything else that I really need on this is here. Yeah, unfortunately, this like bit up here, it's just a receding hairline. So um, my hair was quite long and like really curly there for a while. And um, when I got it cut, you know, that that was sort of covering this a little bit. And now it's uh, now it's not being covered at all, obviously. So. A ship that only its mother would love. Yikes. That's a rough one. I think I have my render scale set down a little bit, so let me increase the render scale. I dropped the render scale down when streaming or doing videos, uh, just because I get GPU overload for some reason. I don't quite understand why there's so much GPU overload. I'm using the CPU to encode, and still, it like it just starts lagging when I'm at the render scale one. Yeah, I mean it's it's not the best layout ever. This this like mouth here is sort of interesting on the ship, but you see it's got like it look you know, it looks like it's got some some like fangs right there a little bit. The fly fishing lure, yeah. You know, and the the reality is too, is this thing, we may not like it, but it does have a console on it that could end up being quite interesting. Um it's uh Plasma torpedo that my head is currently covering. Here. Oh boy. So this tells you how much it does with each. Like, what the? Look how long this list is. What the hell is this? Like, this is just the uh, the ability. So it's got 100 charges. Is it telling me the values? No, the values are all the same. What, what the hell is this? 100 entries on it, yeah. So, by the way, for everyone just topping in now, um, yeah, it's the exact same description over and over. This ship, the Praetor Command Warbird Battlecruiser, I know, what a lengthy name. Um, this was put into the Infinity Lockbox today, and they did not announce it. So, the ship is a little bit cheaper than most other Infinity ships, um because people don't know it's in the game. So all the people that are posting it 
are just competing with each other and there's not much demand because people don't know it's there. I don't have the section 31 vanity shield on this character. Um, and I also, I do, I don't think this ship is available over on, uh, Tribble. So let me go into an Argala now and we can watch me, uh, disappoint Chell. Yeah, but they don't normally crash that fast as a brand new ship. Like 1.2 eventually over time. Yeah, but within the first, you know, 50 minutes of the ship being out, usually see them still up at a higher price. Oh, yeah, I got a render scale 0.7. Okay, now let's get back to combat here. All right, I had to lower the render scale again. It is terrible and the traits on this thing I didn't even bother to check. I probably still have my Torp traits on, judging by the fact that REA just came out. Flying human hip bone. Yeah, I don't have Withering Barrage on. This is my Torp crates again. It's fine. Galaxy, how's it going? Okay, let's try the uh, the console out here. I mean, decent chunk of damage there for not being boosted. Might be different with different firing modes, but yeah, right now the turrets or the, the dual cannons are firing from these top two, and then the turrets are all firing from this point right here. You will stand down and surrender to the Sensors are picking up small habitation from the with temporary hideout. Maybe the points are bugged, yeah, or maybe it's different depending on the type of weapons you use. Like, that's very possible, too. Also, the console is... So it's not working like the like an emulating Phaser Lance uh, charge console would, or the, the Quantum Warhead module. Um, it's still got, like, a fixed two-minute cooldown. The charges are based on just how powerful the clicky will be when you do eventually hit it. Okay, let me get through this Argala, and then I'll get caught up on chat here. The Damos console is the emulating Phaser Lance. So if I fire it right here... So the emulating, fire, the emulating Phaser Lance fires from the bottom of the ship here. Like the bottom of the mouth. So if I hit it again here... It comes right out of the mouth, basically. Firing the console again. Fires right out of the mouth of the ship. And didn't do much damage because the target was shielded. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't boost up until... Um, four minutes, which is a bit rough. Like, it doesn't fully go all the way up. Well, thank you for the sub. Mail? Oh, boy. Martin, I appreciate you. Let me let me pop over and uh, 
Oh, it's gamble time. Martin, Thank you for your I appreciate you. Um, let me go and get out of the map. At least the mouth has a purpose, yeah. A giant puking bird? Yeah, it's a cool effect. It is a really cool effect, though. Martin. It's gamble time. So I've got 250 master keys here that are going to be opened up. These are, these were generously donated by Martin. And Martin, um, how do you want me, like if I pull a ship, how do you want me to give it away? Like, do you, you want it to be on the builds discord, my discord? You want it to be a long duration one or? What do you want me to do? Let me move. Yes, huge thank you to Martin for contributing these keys here. Um, going to be giving a ship away from these if I pull a ship. Yeah, if I get the ship, what do you want me? Well, I will get a ship. Well, let, let's remove that if it's going to happen. It's yours? OK. So if I do pull a ship, then um, it will be used for like an end of year type giveaway on the on the, the channel then. Thank you, Martin. Very much appreciated for that. Let me get this inventory. Just get a little bit more room here. 250 master keys. Steven, how you doing? Here we go. Stargate, how's it going? Nick, how's it going? Inventory is... Now the inventory is a little bit rough, isn't it? On seventy five. There we go. Oof. I was, I was starting to cut it close. <laughs> Martin, you, you probably started to sweat a little bit there, just like I was. I was, I was honestly starting to get a little worried. Love how they make lockboxes sound like slot machines. Martin, again, thank you very much. That is, uh... Was a huge, huge amount of keys there. I very much appreciate it. That was. It's been the fir first time in a while that I uh, was able to gamble, and I look forward to to seeing your uh, your video later on. I hope you uh, have some good luck. Two fifty keys and one T six ship. Yeah, about. What was that? About two hundred in. Got your fix off that. <laughs> if you guys ever want to know why uh like sh the space traits are so expensive on the exchange 
Uh, consider this. You know, I just opened 250 Infinity Lock boxes, and I only got a total of four Space Trait boxes. Yeah, let me get mine's channel uh, linked in here. Mm. Yes, yeah, so go check out Martin's YouTube channel. I'll get that linked in here. 250 keys. Yeah. Martin, that was huge. Again, thank you, man. Average about six per 100. Documents, how you doing? Martin, thank you. Gambling like that uh, always feels real nice. Yeah, I got a ship and it's going to be used for a giveaway. So that giveaway, we'll start that up next month. Um, I think just just wait for the current builds ones to to end, and it'll be over on uh, my uh, on my Discord, I think, or I'll do a gleam one. I I'll figure it out. Have I done the bug hunt yet? Uh no, Nick. But it has had some changes that you're not going to like. Yes, I picked up the new Romulan ship and I just leveled it up. Um, so I did get 31 weapon packs. And I got a Borg Doff pack here. Let's open that. 34. In Jamaica Worker. Um, so first thing first, as Elite DPS Athlete said in chat... Uh, apparently, you're not getting progress from doing Bug Hunt right now. Um, now, another thing to note, and this is really important to note, is when you go into the queue window, there's two different versions of Bug Hunt currently. So there's the event one that you can only do at normal difficulty. And then there's also the old one that you can do at advanced or elite difficulty, but that will not get you progress. Yeah, Warp Core. So the event has started today for the the final event campaign um, mission. Um, so you can do Bug Hunt Normal or Swarm Normal. The higher difficulties do not count for this event. And in Bug Hunt, you cannot queue, or you cannot do a private Bug Hunt. You have to do a public queue of Bug Hunt if you want to do Bug Hunt Elite. But the new version of Bug Hunt that they're doing, that they'll eventually push out to the other difficulties of Bug Hunt, um, one of the things you're not going to like for the end, Nick, is that you have to kill everything at the end of the map now. Killing the queen is not enough. You have to kill everything in that final room. Yeah, exactly, Nick. They read... Yeah. Uh, Martin, you, you got the two big bundles of Zen and have 295 left. Nice. Nice. Uh, Jay, I do not know. I have not run it yet. Is the event console worth getting? So let, let me go back and take, let's take a look at that side by side versus ball lightning. Okay. So casual. I need to go down to ground to look at this. Or I'm already on ground, okay. Um, where is ball lightning here? I took a picture before. So we got the V'ger probes there and then that ball lightning here. Um. So it looks like its damage is higher than ball lightning. But it doesn't have the shield pen that ball lightning has. So, you know, it's possible this could be a really high performer. Um, but we're going to have to wait and see how, you know, how it performs. Now, I'm not going to buy it out right away. Um, I'll play through the, the event 20 times and get my progress that way, but 
Um, it does look comparable to Ball Lightning. And Ball Lightning is one of the best ground kit modules in the game, so. Yeah. Now, regarding the Praetor itself, let's, uh, I guess can just set this ship up, this ship up as a torp boat. Okay. Yeah, the V'ger probes would be an account-wide reclaim, yep, so definitely something to consider. I want to take a look now at the um, the console off of the Praetor and see what all is boosting it. So, you know, it's dealing kinetic damage. You know, it is a torpedo. Uh, the Borg, when does Black Friday sale start in STO? I would say mid to late next week. So let me let's take a look here at these. Oh, it's still building the charges back up too. So the number is going to keep changing. So it does actually take four minutes for, for this console to build its charges back up. The ship looks like one of those massive moths you see on Wild Life TV shows. Yeah, so I think that this console probably has a fairly good amount of damage potential. Um, you know, it's hard for me to compare how it's like, you know, what all is boosting it until it's actually charged up. The issue with this thing is that you can fire it off every two minutes, but it looks like it takes four minutes to get all of the uh, the charges for it. I think so. Because it looked like it was about halfway charged um, when I was able to fire it again. You have no choice but to buy it out? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. Yeah, then. Now, also, Albert, I when I was saying the numbers in the, the last news video I did in my event campaign guide a while back also, that was based on doing it every 24 hours. Um, but you can actually do the event every 20 hours if you need to. So if you have to time it out to try and get as much progress as possible, uh, you can do it every 20 hours to get progress. Mothman? Yeah. So, like, I've been talking here, and this thing is only at 77 charges. Like, it is taking a while to, to go up. Hopefully you guys can see that past my head there. It's over my left shoulder or right shoulder, I guess. I got the camera flipped around, so. Eighty-six. I do not have any like plus plasma projectile consoles. Cause another thought I had too, and this this is not necessarily for min max DPS, but um, I've thought about how fun it would be to do like a full on plasma projectile build, you know, utilizing this console, um, maybe even just doing it over on like the legendary to list. Yeah, but when you first load into a map, it starts off at 100 charges. At least it looked like it. Okay, so currently at 100. Um, 100 charges, you see the damage there is 74,106. If I slot a torpedo boosting console, torp, if I slot a vulnerability exploiter, that does boost the damage. So this is, this is treated as a normal torpedo. And it is boosted, like it says here, that it is boosted by anything that is boosting all torpedoes. So this could be a really interesting console for... Um, Nick is going to drag me into to bug hunt. 
Yeah, into the gate grab wall, exactly. But it does have a delay to when you fire it. It does not go immediately. Yeah, okay. So Jay, Jay's got the numbers there. So if it's two and a half seconds per charge, that is quite rough. Nick, what did you just take us into? I didn't even look. Was this bug hunt? Okay. I'm going to do a bug hunt with the Australian. Australia Hadar, I think his name is here. So we're going to see what the new bug hunt looks like. Yeah, you, you know what I'm thinking there, bus, is this console, like, but here's the issue with this, is if we use this, uh, you know, like, at a min-max level, then you need, you know, you're going to want the ship on your DPS character for the console, and then the uh, the trait on a support, because you, you need at least one person in the run to, to have that trait on. Yeah. Good question. So we can't even move from the start here. Yeah, this is this is already quite different. Apparently, the HP on the spawn mother at the end has also been buffed. Terrible, Nick. Yeah, it's it's a little bit different so far. Apparently, they've tried to fix uh, Vanderveer though, because Vanderveer here would always get stuck. It was quite annoying. Um, Temp Op and Commando. This seems a little bit dark, okay. Galaxy, I appreciate the offer. I don't know if I'll get around to doing, like, a full-on Torp run with it late on the stream, to be honest. I'm probably just going to take a look at um, the trading console for the most part. Fire in the hole. And I'll probably pop the console over to the triple test server to get better numbers on that. Nick's already nuking most of the map. Did not hit most of my damage boost ahead of time. Beam boat with the battle bird. Um, let me see if I... I might have some, like, beam rays on this character. In fact, I know I do. I can slap, like, some beams on it just to see where it's firing things from. Fire in the hole. So Vanderveer is actually progressing through this quite a bit faster than normal. The lighting in here looks like it's maybe changed a little bit. I don't know. Um, it should be a generic bridge. Cryptic stopped making new bridges for ships a while back. According to our scans, there's a tunnel under us. Give me a moment, and I'll clear a path. Fire in the hole. Oh yeah, he's progressing a lot faster than normal. Cover me! 
Yeah. That's why you have to have at least one person in the run with Agony Field Gen on, so that if something does get stuck up in the roof or whatever, then um, you can still kill it. Uh, yeah, Nick, Nick really likes Bug Hunt because uh, the Australians know all about handling large bugs. Nick, uh, that's from Cthulhu. I know you appreciate that. Welcome back. Uh, not really. Um, the console is boosted by plus torp consoles, which means that its use on like a meta build might be might be a little bit better. Like it could really be a good console for hitting everything on the the gate, you know, on a torp build. Not that that matters with Thaler on, but for people that are still running torp runs, you know, it's more relevant there. Nick does. Nick loves bug hunting NTT. How much HP does this thing have? 124k? I think that's more than the uh, the elite one used to have. So basically, you just have to have the supporting team in a BHE run kill everything up top. And all marks are available. But we need to fall back so I can set off the charges and bring down the hive. Um, Chell, that is a really good question. Major bug and still on Xbox, and your friend has the new Norway. Yeah, was that supposed to be released yet? It does not surprise me at all if Cryptic is pushing things into the game that are not meant to be there yet. I mean, look at the, you know, I'm flying a ship around that they haven't even put the blog out for yet. In fact, let me double check, see if they put it out yet. <laughs> anything I go to the German one nope does the consoles AOE spread wide enough to do damage generators um let's see here so That's not the right thing. I'm not looking at the right thing. Let me scroll down. Two point five kilometer sphere. Supposedly live stream in six hours. I hope they uh show off, you know, like a new hypothetical MUDS bundle. At this point, I think it'd be great if they could just name the MUDS bundle the, the MUDS hypothetical bundle. Yeah, this is too small of an AoE to hit the uh, generators. The guard, how's it going? Okay. Um, I'm going to take this build right now into a Kittimer, uh by myself, and I'm going to fire off the, the console, and we're going to see how long it takes for it to go back to 100.
Or at least get it back up to like 25. Because it does look like the... What, I, what I'm seeing so far is that the charges were not reset when I left the Argala map. So it looks like regardless... There are two active board um, conduits in this system. Regardless oh, of you like transferring maps or not, you have to wait five minutes for it to build the charges back up between each use. Did I get campaign progress? I got my featured event progress, but I did not get any, you know, I didn't get any event campaign progress because I already have that done. Thank you. You go. And yeah, again, thank you to Martin for the 250 keys there. Hopefully you all got as much of a rush out of me opening that as I did because I was opening lock boxes. I don't have to go out to a casino. I've got a casino right here at home via STO. Okay, the trait on this thing is test it, right? Your test them, yeah. Decloak and defeat foe to earn aura buff. This thing's booking it towards me. So basically, um, you see how there's like these four pips, like right up against the uh, the tack cube. So the buff that you get from the test them trait would scale based on how, or the based on the rank of the enemy. And this would be a dreadnought, so it'd get the maximum boost if your team was able to to kill the target within that time frame. So against a the the smallest possible targets, the rank ones. Um, the damage boost you'd get would be 15% to cat one and then a 10% whole capacity boost. And if I killed this tack cube within the 40 seconds allotted to me, that would be a 30% damage boost and 25% whole capacity boost for me and my team for the rest of the map. What if I kill a capital? I don't know. Okay, let's fire this off and let's see what that damage was on it. I'm going to recloak and we're going to see how long it takes for these stacks to build back up. Imagine if the trait thinks of capitals as the highest rank. That'd be rough. How much damage did that do? It didn't look like it did a ton, to be honest. I wouldn't put it past them either. Yes, SCM, I know. Max one hit was 251k. Um, you know, fully boosted up in a torp run, it'll do really well, but this isn't a console that you should like go out and buy, like just to throw on a random build. This is the type of console that really is going to excel on a fully specced out torp build. Um, and it would be fun also on a pla like a plasma based uh, build. Like if you put this on the Talis alongside the big red torpedo um, and things like that, that could be really interesting. Get stabilized and call today. Yeah, most likely, Joe. Like the just getting the legendary to list and getting the console off of that would probably be more effective. So right as the cooldown ended for the the two minutes, I was at fifty stacks. So, um, it's looking like it's, you know, it, it's looking like it's a uh, four minutes to get all the stacks back up. So, 
we go and oh, that's 240 divided by 100. So that's 2.4 seconds per stack, not 2.5. Yeah, I was going to get it regardless because of the, the console and trait. Because it's beneficial to the things that I do in the game. So, looks like a full four minutes to get the console back up. To 100 charges, but you can fire it um, with as little as 50 charges. Chow, hope you're uh, feeling good there. Start here. Overall, like the ship, you know, the ship does look interesting. You do have to be within 10 kilometers of a target in order for it to uh, to get marked by the trait. So let me recloak and then decloak next to this. So once I fire on them, the buff goes to them. Okay. So the buff icon doesn't have an actual thing, so it's just uh, blank. Does it? Does the cooldown at least work with Uncon? Um. I don't think it's impacting the charge bonus or like the the. The charges. It would impact the console cooldown for you to use the console again, but the console builds up stacks over time, and I don't think you can make that go faster. Like, I'll fire it again here. If I can get far enough away from this. The charges do not visually look like to be that they're getting much uh, of a benefit from Uncon. The, the console's definitely getting a cooldown reduction, but I don't see any more... You know, I don't see the stacks build faster after I hit, like, uh, Tractor Beam or Gravwell. How am I enjoying the moth? I think it's a good little ship, you know, but at the same time, I think for most people that are interested in the ship itself, um, the legendary Vorcha is the same thing, um, but that's on account unlock. Um, the trait, I think, is interesting and will be a, like a meta trait for support builds, but only one support needs it in a run, and realistically, you know, that that's... You know, when I talk about supported runs, I'm basically talking to like 20 people in the game at most. Um, so the trait's not relevant to most people. The console on it is interesting, but has a very long charge-up time. Um, I think that was part of the trait, right? Um, no, it says decloak. So I'll slap an Omega on and we'll see if I get it. So I've got, I'm going to hit Attack Pattern Omega. Did not get the, the, the test on buff. Also, I was hitting Uncon abilities before, and again, just as the console um, got to two minutes, it was right at like 50 charges. The shocked in, yeah. Um, so for people that are not aware of that deal, let me see if I can pop that up. So, let me find that. That's the Star Trek Adventures uh, source book. If you pick this thing up, and it'll probably go on sale around, uh, or it, it, I, I won't say probably, it might go on sale around Black Friday. But this this uh this book here, this PDF comes with a code for STO for a Zenkethi Shuckton. 
And the Zenkethi shucked in, you can either sell it for a couple hundred mil, or you can grab it to have as a ship. I mean, it's, it's okay, it's nothing that special. Uh, but the experimental weapon on it is one of the top uh, experimental weapons in the game. And you can get that for a single character for like 11 bucks. Uh, is it technically a decloak when firing torps? Oh, that's a good question. I'm not too sure on that one. Let's, uh, let me pop over to my Talis and let's uh, take a look at that to see if you can get away without, or if you can trigger the, uh, the test thumb trait without like fully decloaking. Yeah, apparently, William, they released those on console. They released the Hiawatha in Norway um, without saying anything. So on both PC and console, they have now released ships today that, you know, they haven't announced. <laughs> Do I have the... I don't think I have the Talisa on this character. Yeah, Nick, you have to do public queue of Bug Hunt Elite if you want to do it. Unfortunately. Yeah, that's very true, Chell. Twitter has been in enjoyable to watch over the past uh past week. Well, we can still do public queues. Yeah, the fact is, like it is a bit ridiculous that this ship, you know, this this new one was released into the game without them, you know, doing a blog for it. Like, they talked about it on 10 Forward, but... Just no reforming? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing. Bug, or, not bug, uh, Kittimer Vortex. I'm gonna go in solo, and I'm gonna see if I can trigger the test them trait without uh, fully decloaking. Musk would fire the incompetent devs or any of them that called him out on Twitter. <laughs> or any of them that called him out anywhere. I saw, I was looking at the news today and I saw that some of the engineers there had like been calling him out for some things and he just fired them. Like even if they were saying negative things in their Slack chat, they, they were uh, waking up today to see that they were fired. Checking the news again and the stone news that is nothing. And the thing is that retweet that they did was only three hours ago, so Kale's up. It's just the bo the blogs weren't posted. There are two active four transwarp conduits in this system, along with a stable. Okay, so I need to slap the test them trade on this. Give me a second. Yeah. I gotta wait a little bit. William, thank you for the sub. 32 century, yeah, but uh, the the idea here is to to see if I can uh, trigger the trait while I'm still under the enhanced battle cloak. So this is this is not even like a built out ship. All I'm doing is seeing if uh, the test them trait, if it is triggered from 
me shooting at the target while I'm still under enhanced battle cloak. So let's fire a torpedo. Or disabled plasma torpedo getting tractor beamed. Um, and the answer has them was not put on the target. Um, so I, it looks like I have to fully decloak to get that to go off. Yep, there it goes immediately upon decloaking. So you have to actually decloak. You have to actually decloak in order to get the trait to go off. Yeah, I did not even look at the damage. Uh, any updates on the NJ build video? No. Um, just had a bit going on the past couple days. My sleep schedule has been or was all over the place. I've been trying to get it back on track. Uh, the last couple days, been dealing with some family stuff and just timing. Timing hasn't worked out and... Um, really the past week just not been in the best mood for for making videos to be honest with you but i do know that that is a project that i really need to get done so the spinal mount plasma torpedo did outdo the destabilized um like dps wise here for how much damage it did of course, that was to a shielded target. That was, you know, even like tractoring that torpedo. But um, now both are both are interesting, and I think uh, I would like to do a proper test with them over on the the triple test server. But I do not believe triple's updated with the current code branch, so I don't think I can uh, copy it over there. Your defensive capabilities are unable to withstand. These tack cubes can really move. Silly rabbit, how you doing? So yeah, just you have to actually decloak in order to get the trait to go off. And it looks like the destabilized plasma torpedo misfired when I hit it there. Nick, thanks for stopping by. You have fun. It's your last day, isn't it? You enjoy that. Well, if I recall the... And you don't see it on the description here. Um, but this test them trait, it does require you to decloak. So what they said on the stream is that... You can only trigger this trait when you are under ambush, which then also means the question of can she's a predator trigger it? That's what I want to test next. She's a predator. And let's slap what A was asking about before. Let's hit Omega now with uh, she's a predator on and see if that counts as a cloak ambush. Imagine a map where cubes chase you around. That'd be terrifying. I remember my old uh, Borg infestation map that I had on the Foundry, and that was brutal. You just got, you'd go in and it's just a big wall of like 30 uh, cubes right in front of you. It was really quite interesting. The servers were the scariest? They can be. Okay, so let's see if she's a predator's ambush can cause the test them trait to go off. Okay. And the answer is no, it has to be cloak ambush. News pop up from Twitter to announce the key sale. Yep, there we go. 
So they're just really late on getting their, their stuff out today. I wonder if they'll announce the, uh, the other one or the, uh, you know, the ship being put in. Article. So the German blog still only has the key and Lobby sale. There's no news at all about. Up oh, here it is, the Praetor. There we go. That that's a blog, all right. That's that right there. That's that's what I call a news blog. Um. I imagine I wasn't supposed to see that yet. Yeah, this is, uh, if anyone, if you're ever like inviting someone to, to play the game or they just ask you, you know, how are the deaths, you know, like the public appearance definitely could be off putting to some people. Chiaps, I know, I know. Well, at least you guys have uh, seen this, you know, live, you know, that it's there right now. Um, in fact, I'll drop this link in uh, chat so you guys can all, like, take a picture of it and... Yeah, that's the hard thing, too, Demo, is, like, they do do some really good things, you know, like... um. Okay, B bad take. Um, there's some, there were some ship models, you know, that were updated in, uh, in the patch today, right? I think everyone, everything gets access to the, uh, <laughs> everyone gets access to the Sovereign Refit skin, I think is what I saw in the blog or the, the patch notes. Um, so the Excalibur class and the Vesper class skins were updated today. The Norway got some updates to its experimental weapon and the console on it. Uh, the, so the Molnir experimental weapon was not draining power when fired. Oof, so it's actually going to perform worse now after the patch. And it already didn't perform that great. I mean, it was okay. It was better than some of the other experimental weapons out there, but it was still like a third of what the Soliton was doing for me. So now it's going to be even worse. Um... And I thought I saw something here about the Sovereign Refit skin. Oh, yeah. Additionally, we have made the Sovereign Refit material available for free on any ship that had access to it if you had purchased the Legendary Bundle. Okay. So if you have the 10th Legendary Bundle, then it looks like you get access to the Sovereign Refit skin on a bunch of ships. So, yeah, um... Interesting set of uh, logs today. I don't think the ship is going to interest too many of you. Um, that you, I, I haven't tested the Norway console like since the first day I got it. I, I was uninterested in it, so I don't, I don't even know how its performance is looking like now. Papers. Let's see what the Praetor is currently going for on the exchange. 1.2 billion.
and people don't know it's in the game because the blog post for it only went up six minutes ago, and literally the title of it is Praetor, Praetor, and the text of the blog is Praetor. Uh, point two now, yeah. So the ship has come down in price a little bit since the, um, you know, or since I started the stream, which is not surprising being it was released straight around the time I started the stream. Uh, the courier pilot on PlayStation is now down to 500 million. I thought about picking one of those up because the console on it can be boosted up to do some really huge max one hits. It seems it's Praetor. Yeah. She ups. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that's made it to Reddit yet. The Aristo. Same word three times. There's also a before and after of the Excalibur and Vesper skins. Over on the, the subreddit. Let me see if there's any Praetor post here. The key sales being talked about. So here's the Excalibur. And thank you to Lithical over on the subreddit for getting these pictures together to compare the models. There's the Excalibur after. And here's what the what it looked like before. So. Well, the top is before, or the top is after, and the bottom is before. Can you not get the D7 flight deck carrier on FedSide? You can. If you have cross-faction flying enabled, it should let you. I have the D7 barrack worker flight deck on my FedSide. Consistent with this copy-paste. There's a reason I named the ship Xerox, okay? Terrible Cthulhu. So if I go to my fed side here, um, this character does have a Merc Worker D7 on it. And it is a fed human side. This was my original main character. Um, you know, it's a I I... I would say it's a viable torp boat. Uh, as for the EPG aspect, you can do a little bit of science on it, but it's it's not going to be as good as a Psy torp boat as something like the Cheval or the Courage. So yeah, here's here's a D7 Merc worker on a fed human Psy. Great horror blog emote? No, but I do need to go through and get a picture of this ship and the, uh, and the thingy here. Great tour? Yeah. That's going to be a meme now for a while. Great tour. Someone, uh, go make like a, an archive. Uh, post to that that news blog just so we have that eternally memory so the, so that we can always remember it Face that. Let's get a copy of that for for the future. Praetor, Praetor. Trying to get archive to to go through and archive it here, so that we can always look back and remember this high quality blog. You can't see the new ships on console. So some people are getting access to the Norway. Um, 
Spider, did you check the like the actual sh uh, shipyard vendors too? Maybe it's showing up there if it's not in the C store. Yeah, the Cryptic has done that a few times. My favorite was when they released the uh, how the like the Ha Apex tier six version of it. I think if you went to the shipyard vendor at New Romulus here, you could get it for free. Like it literally it cost zero EC. They fixed that very quickly, but everyone that went and got one for zero EC uh, managed to keep it. Uh, Chell, if they do a T six coupon bundle again then I foresee there being a decent chance that we may see a 75% mud sale at uh, like right around Christmas. Because if they're if they do a T6 coupon bundle, then that means that they're trying to boost up their sales numbers for the quarter and for the overall year. Um, and a big sign would be then, you know, if we see like a big mud sale later on. This is taking forever to like archive the page. Has this changed since last, like, this process changed? I don't know. Took a screenshot? Yeah. That's what I'll do. And I mean, it's on the video, so... Too much detail in the post? I know. How are you doing, Stu? Crud. Okay, that's too close to the ship. Let's zoom out the FOV a little bit. Let's go 35. There we go. Steven, congrats. Congrats, man. That's huge. I've been watching my niece here the last uh the last day or so and it's uh been helping take care of her quite a bit over the last uh, 18 months which it's definitely been an experience the text is cloaked damn romulans in their cloaks yep let's see here and i want to get a good angle of this ship let's do the green screen background it's hard to get a good angle. Like, what is a good angle of this ship? Like this? Lighting's not good there. Ah, set. Secret to dealing with kids is Valium. <laughs> I got the butterfly. Yeah, I uh, I wanted the console and tree to mess around with. The stream's gonna lag. I'm taking this up to render scale three for a picture. And let's do screenshot JPG. Let's name this Moth One. Scale One. There we go. Looks like something Godzilla would fight. <laughs> Steven, have fun. See you around and congrats again. There we go. Did that remove any of the other parts? Nope. I don't know how like how to feel fully about the ship. Like the the mouth of the ship here is a little bit weird, but it's from the side it really does look like it's got fangs this background is not white enough to post on <laughs> i'm sorry chill the look is growing on you Ooh.
So let me also export. PNG. Yeah, it's possible that they realized that they put them there early and then they immediately ripped them out. It's like... That is taking a long time to go through and uh, render. That. I don't even see GIMP there. Okay. So I, I usually take a picture of the ships that is way too like a uh, way way too big. Like I do not need the the ship to be this large or the file to be this large for a YouTube thumbnail because YouTube thumbnails are always you know like twelve eighty by seven twenty. So paste this in here, resize it. It's a lot bigger than the uh the, the actual picture of the. Just want to get a thumbnail done for this ship. I don't know, it's, it's an interesting looking ship. A roaring eagle? Yeah. And if you, like, if I go back in game, if I look at this from the side, like, it, these little bits here actually look like uh, fangs. Or, like, some teeth up at the top there from the right angle. It, it's interesting. The blog in the background for the thumbnail. Oh man, a great idea. Just make this like full screen here. Let's get that right in the background of it. <laughs> Take some, uh, Googly eyes on it. Literally, and then like what I need to do is just uh, like for the top text. Perfect. Literally, I, I don't even have to do anything. I could just do like I don't have to be creative at all. I can just go up here and say. Ray tour. Get that centered. Make this bigger. The gold text that I do on the images, I don't know how it looks all, you know, always for you guys, but like uh, for me, when I'm in here, like editing it, I think it, you know, this, this gold, like it looks interesting to me, but on the thumbnails, it doesn't always turn out that great. And of course, you know, we got to match the blog here, right? So you'd have a bottom row of text here. Perfect. 
Instead of ship review, we just have Praetor, Praetor. Or I could even just do one Praetor. Just ignore that I capped lock on right there. Make the ship review a scan of the blog. Yeah, let me uh let me post a picture of this up on the uh Discord. That go fine. Beautiful. Weapon sounds should be Praetor, Praetor, Praetor. You love selling keys, 575 mil in three seconds. Name is Praetor, James Praetor. Change the thumbnail of this stream to this even. Edit. Okay, let's put this on the Discord for y'all. I'll put this in video announcements. There you go. It is in the uh, the video announcements channel. There you go. Should you get the disco refit, even though you don't have the land ship? Um, I mean the. The Disco Refit, like, if you have the Crystal Prism console, that's a good substitute. The Crystal Prisms do no damage, but you could still keep it up all the time. Uh, has, let's see if that blog's changed at all. Also, if anyone here is familiar with uh, Discord bots and um, like can tell me how to make it so any post from the RSS bots can get published out to any of the other Discords that follow my server, that would be greatly appreciated. So I can not need to go through and like manually hit the publish button each time. Always check the various uh, channels in the builds discord, which a reminder, um, there is still a bunch of giveaways going on over on the builds discord, which is linked in the description down below. So there's a bunch of PC giveaways. And then also, if you are an Xbox player for Star Trek online, we have a ton of giveaways and barely anyone has entered them for Xbox. Like only 38 people have entered this infinity tier six ship giveaway on Xbox. You know, compare or and then you compare that to the PC stuff, and this PC stuff's got 800 plus people that have entered. So, if you are an Xbox player, please spread that around that there's some giveaways going on over there. New Twitter posts, but the
Yeah, still nothing new on the, the main Sto Twitter. Demo, hope everything's going well. So you'll be able to get that event done real easy, Ranger. And for getting the Lance, you know, hypothetically, you'll have an easier approach to get it in the near future. Uh, from Kale, let me check his Twitter. I don't know what my... Uh, Um, so, okay. Okay. So nothing, uh, nothing still related. Um, that's a big bit of news. If that's true. That is. That is some yikes right there, if that is actually true. That is Article 5, and that could very easily be us going to war against Russia. If that's true. Yeah, that is that is some news right there. That is that is that this Reddit or this Twitter thread, by the way, I'm going to put this in here. If you guys ever follow any of the uh, the Ukraine stuff, this is a really good Twitter thread that covers the entire situation. I don't want to get like real world political in here, but that is if that is actually true, that Russia just hit Poland. That is a massive escalation, and that is Article 5 territory. Like, that That could be... Yeah, that's not good at all. So we'll see how that develops. Not to get too sidetracked there, but yeah, that is... That is scary to even hear about, to be honest with you. Because that... That is not good at all. It could be fake. Like, it, you know, it may be, you know, we, we may need, you know, just wait and see what happens there. But that is a scary thing to see popping up in any news feed is the fact that Russia supposedly just had two missiles go into to Poland. Or a missile go into Poland and kill two people. Yeah. Well, look, I've been going on for a little bit. I do want to get some food and I want to I want to take a look at the news after seeing that. Um, video wise, I do have a, uh, a video that I already have pre-recorded, um, on the next MUDS bundle. I'm literally just waiting for the blog to go out before I publish it. So I already have that video done. Um, just need them to go through and, um, get that blog out. But there's still no MUDS bundle here. Uh, in the C store, no mods bundle at all. That's 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 news where I'm going to step away and take a look at that a little bit closer because that is that's a bit of a rough situation there if that's true. I don't know, freak boy. I would I would assume it's going to be this week, but um, you know that there's been no blogs. Maybe they'll talk about it on the stream tonight. Um, yeah, I would hope Thursday. I would pay for a Romulan bundle too. Like, uh, but the issue is most of the Romulan ships, well, you've got the Delkina that's already in one. Um, what else is there really? The Valkus? Uh, 
Okay. I'm going to bail out here. Thank you to everyone that stopped by. I'll talk more about the, the ship, you know, in future content. And I think I've summarized it all pretty well here. The ship itself is a copy paste of the, uh, the legendary Vorcha. The console has potential applications on a, like a meta torp build, but it is fairly niche. And the trait does have practical use cases in a highly coordinated, supported run environment. Oh yeah, and the Talaru is already in MUDs. Okay, thank you everyone for stopping by. Alan, how you doing? I'm going to be heading out now, so I'll see you guys next time. And again, to Martin, if you're still here, thank you again for the 250 keys. That will be a giveaway that I'll be doing next month with the ship that I got from that. See you guys around.